pumps are different, but on this pump, you have air and you have electronic. This pump has both. So it's an electronic switch to an air actuator. Don't ask me about that. This is what I was told. Another pump, and uh, I think the rest of the pumps that we have are all air. So you'll hear it when you open it. I'm going to continue going over the controls and stuff, but I'm going to talk to you about this because this stuff right here is real important and you need to know what's going on. But uh, anyway, we'll talk about these switches, these are air switches. When it comes to these air switches, it's air and electronics. Some of the pumps are air all, all the way through. If you don't hear any sound, you're probably air and electronic, electronic to air. There's an air pressure gauge up here. You can't see it, but I'll, I'll show y'all that or I'll add it in the video. Make sure you have over 100 PSI. Somewhere, somewhere over 100 at least. If you start to see it drop off, something's wrong. You got a problem somewhere. You probably got an air leak that you need to try to figure out, okay, where it's at, what's going on. Like right now, it's sitting at 100. It should be at 130 to 140. I know that from running this pump. That's telling me, okay, I need to keep an eye on that. Or possibly one of these switches might be leaking. So, uh, Just 
wipe it off with a, with a damp rag, water, that's it. Uh, make sure when you when you're doing it, press the home button, keep your finger on it, and then wipe it and wipe it off. And after you're done, release the home button, it'll be good to go. That's how that, that touch screen works. This is not a touch screen, this is called a memograph. Memograph allows you different parameters and stuff that you can see what's going on with the engine side and the fluid side and also it has some calibration that can be set here. Most of what you're going to be doing is your set points. The set points are going to be, tap that, it takes you to your set points and then you adjust your digital brightness, your, your digital readouts, your displays mostly and that's the number of this pump. This is the best screen to be on because it allows you to see Almost everything except for the Kim ads. You can't see the Kim ads on it. But you can see everything else. I can see my passenger side brake. I can see my driver's side brake. I can see my passenger side pressure. I can see my driver's side pressure. I can see my driver's side.
always stays alive. Up here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a uh, gear rates. Thank you. 